Every hardcore world I make feels slightly the same. I spawn in, get a starter base going, make a raid farm, and then boom, infinite lives. But not today. This world's gonna be different. I'm gonna make it ultra hardcore, which means no totems and no natural regeneration, all while building a mega base to top it off in the first episode. This took absolutely forever, so I hope you enjoy. Turning regenerate health off, which is gonna make this very, very hard. Well, here we are in hardcore Minecraft. I guess we'll start off like any world starts off. Punch a tree, and we can go ahead and get some stone. And now we can get set up with some basic tools. Now, since there's no regen enabled, natural regen anyways, and I'm also not going to be using any totems, we need to find those white flowers that enable us to have regen when put with mushroom stew, which means we also need to find a dark forest. So this should be really challenging. And I got to be careful not to take like any unwanted damage, just because we're not going to be able to regen at all until we get that. But for now, I'm still going to need some food just so I don't take damage from hunger. There's a lot of pigs around here. The only way I can regenerate is a beacon, golden apples, suspicious stew, regen potions. Oh, there's even a village right here. There's a lot I want to get accomplished in this 100 days. Mainly, I want to build a mega base where I can have everything set up. I'll have villager trades in there. And I'm hoping to get some god armor. So these spawn chunks probably won't be spawn chunks for very long. So I guess we'll just steal a bed from here. I'm going to try not to sleep just because I'm going to need this full 100 days. Oh, this is cool. There's kind of like a uh, floating blacksmith here. Let's see if there's any good loot. Okay, this is... <laughs> This is actually really, really, really good loot. Well, I guess while we're here, we're gonna start smelting. And while we wait for that to happen, we can... There's actually a lot of farmers here, which is great, because we're gonna need to get apples off of these guys. And there's a pillager outpost over there. All right, this this is pretty dope. Now, hunger will not regen us, but it, it can take health away. So we're just gonna have to make sure we stay full on health. These are actually the flowers we need right here. When you combine those with suspicious stew, you'll get regen for eight seconds, I think. It's only regen one, but it's kind of the best thing we have right now. So it's, it's what we have to work with. But my main goal is for this 100 days, I want to build a big mega base that houses a bunch of farms. And I want it to kind of be a way bigger version of my tree I have in my world. So hopefully it'll have like all the books we need to make god armor. It'll have some wool farms and it'll have some cows. But now the main thing we need to find is some red mushrooms and brown mushrooms. That'll really help us along. Oh no, a baby zombie. Stay away. Even though that's kind of hard because we're in a jungle and they're everywhere. Okay. Yep. All right. We're already down a good bit of our health. And as you can see, it's it's not regenerating. We really need to find some red mushrooms. That's why I generally don't like nighttime, especially new and hardcore, but... Hey, we wanted a challenge and we're getting one. Oh, there's a lava pool. And there's Drowned Trace chasing me. Oh, gosh. This is the best start I think I've ever had. Oh! A ruined portal. My shield's already down quite a bit of durability, too. Maybe we can find some regen in here, like some golden apples, or... Well, we have some iron, flint, and a thorns three helmet, which I think I'd rather just not have. But we can take this gold block up here. Oh, and we can actually make some regen. Wait a minute. There's a red mushroom up there. We're in business. Oh no, that was not good. I'm just going to go ahead and eat my golden apple now. And the forest is already burning down. Lovely. We're just going to collect some of these red mushrooms, brown mushrooms, and then hopefully adventure on and we can find it. Oh no. Oh no. Mr. Creeper, why? I need these mushrooms. Where'd you go? I'm not hallucinating. There was just a creeper there. And now he's back. No. Okay. That was, that was not ideal.
We need some brown mushrooms instantly. ASAP. Oh, here's a brown mushroom. Come on. Give me a good drop rate. Four suspicious stews. Let's see. We eat one. We're at three hearts. Six seconds of regeneration. Wait, is that it? Are you telling me it gave me a heart and a half? Oh, I've bit off way more than I can chew. I think we'll actually set up over here at this little village for now. It's in a nice plains biome with a meadow right near it, a meadow mountain even. So we should get plenty of these oxide daisies. And maybe there's even another blacksmith here. Wait, and there's a pillager outpost right here? Yeah, I'm going to definitely set up my house over here. Holy cow, we have a lot of apples now. That's, that's a great start. Because hopefully my main food source will end up being golden apples. And now with our inventory cleared out a little bit, I think I'm going to start work on a really early game iron farm. And... Scared villagers. Iron Golem spawns. It works. And we have completed that before day five. And we got a little sheep farm going. Anyways, now I think we need to go down in the caves and get some redstone and some more diamonds and a few other little things. And then we can get started on trying to get some villager trades. This actually looks like a really cool cave. And I, th yeah, there's a mine shaft down there. So I need to get some more wood. But I think I'm going to go try to explore this. I wish there weren't as many mobs around, but what can you do? Oh no, not a baby zombie again. Skeleton, you just stay over there. Oh no, not phantoms. Oh, I need to go touch a bed. Lightning too? What the heck is going on here? I forgot if I don't sleep, phantoms will come. Well, hopefully the mine chef's not too dangerous. I'll stay away from the spider spawners, but I'll head down in here. Oh, there's already is. I... okay. Ooh, a minecart. Okay, two diamonds. I'll take that. I like the new caves, but not when they're... not when they're full of just mobs. These you can just take one at a time. All right. We got lapis. We got redstone. Everything we need. And our first diamonds, naturally spawn diamonds anyways. Oh, there's even more right here. Nice little four vein. We got ten diamonds now. That's that's good. I'm not going to be wasting them on armor though, because I'll just get the armor from the armorsmith. And now it's time to start my trade empire. I got a couple of Fletchers here, and I got one of the armorsmiths in the building over there. Uh... I miss the old leveling up sound. Oh, let's go. Protection and fire protection. I'll take a pair of leggings, and I don't have enough for boots. And we'll get us a pair of... Chest plate, helmet, and boots. Okay, well, you're only doing half a heart now, so I guess that's... Okay, you're doing one heart. Okay, even with diamond armor, this is this is a little bad. Whew. Like I was trying to say, now we have a full set of diamond armor. This is this is pretty good. Pretty dope. And I just keep going to my dark room over there and eating mushrooms too. It's it's the only thing I can eat. And now on the night of the 13th, we have made a villager breeder. And good for it too, because I'm starting to run out of villagers to trade with. But for now, I need to get more emeralds in order to do the smithing table and get diamond tools. And then after we get these diamond tools, we're going to go and hopefully beat the ender dragon before day 20. Come on, diamond tools. A diamond for an emerald. That's a really enticing trade, but I'm going to have to pass. And then breaking two diamond axe. It's good to me. Come on, show me something good. A pickaxe. Well, that works for me. All right, now that we got our axes and tools, I think we're about ready to go to the nether. It does look like our villager breeder's working very well, though. 
Okay, that's not good. Okay, that was not good either. I don't even know how they got in there. I don't, I don't know how you guys just slept through glass, but you know what? I'm not going to question it right now. We need to block this back up. My heart bout just stopped. Oh, we need to get our health back up. Thankfully, I had diamond armor. That would not have not have went that way, and I barely survived anyways. Those guys are going to need to go back out. You know what? That, that's a problem that I'll worry about when I get back from the nether. And there we go. Let me make sure I got everything we need. Oh, no. Gosh, he's beating me up. Go away. I'm just so done with zombies. Let's head into the nether. Uh, this is the worst spawn you can ask for. Oh, that's nice. A, sh a straight drop to my death. Well, I guess we're just going to go exploring around. Hopefully we can find something decent. I need to hurry up and get my Eyes of Ender and get my Elytra, because I think that's going to be my biggest downfall with Totemless Hardcore is fall damage. And that, and apparently I picked the worst place in the world to spawn. Hey, and our first gold is... Is that another fortress? Oh, that was kind of easy. Only on day 15. And we are in a terrible fortress. Oh. We already got some nether wart. Okay, we'll take we'll take two diamonds and two gold. Whoop! Nope, 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 nope. We're out of here. Can you get poisoned? I'm actually hearing quite a bit of wither skeletons around here. And a blaze. Sounds like there's a lot of blazes near me. This is getting really hairy. Oh, hey! A skull? Are you kidding me? What is that luck? These poison arrows are really helping me out. Okay, I should not have ran out for that blaze. And I am forever sorry. <sighs> Starting to run just a, a little worryingly low on stew. Only 12 left in the heart of the nether. And I don't really have anything to smell. Okay, 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 we're getting out of here, we're getting out of here. Okay, eat some stew. Oh, my heart. I don't know how two other skeletons came behind me, but... <sighs> I don't even have any cobblestone left to make a furnace to smelt this. And it's like stepping on eggshells around here with all these piglins. There's one false move, and I'm... I'm in some big trouble with them. Okay, and we're leaving this place. <sighs> all right. I swear, you better give me the trade I want. I want ender pearls, or else you're gonna end up there with the villagers that didn't give me the trades. Meanwhile, why does everything want to murder me? A baby zombie with a trident? Oh gosh, those do a lot of damage. Oh, then tridents do a lot. I think, I think I'm just going to sit in here for a while. 
no ender pearls. Look away, small child. And you will go on the wall. Remember that little baby, look up there. And remember to sell me ender pearls. Ah! I see you did not want to end up on my wall. Very good. Very good. And we're going to need tons of firework rockets when we go in the end. Because once you get an elytra, pro tip, if you actually bring fireworks with you, you can just use the elytra to go to the next place. I also bring an anvil and an unbreaking three book usually. Just because then I can put mending and unbreaking on it. But for now, we're just going to go around trying to get some creepers every night. Oh, luckily my headphone volume is cranked up. That guy would have took me out. Oh, I just barely turned around and shielded in time. I need to make a gunpowder farm. I'm tired of killing creepers the old fashioned way. It's too dangerous. And now within breaking three on day 25, I'm ready to go fight the ender dragon. Normally I would have did this way earlier, but while I'm in the end, I want to go ahead and put and breaking three and mending on an elytra. Get a second elytra with mending, and then I'll have some fireworks to go to. I wish I would have got some more creepers, though. We'll go ahead and make a few eyes of ender. And we're going to head off. Finally! Oh my gosh. I think we're as ready as we can be. Plenty of arrows, bow, anvil, full nine yards. Okay, this is best case scenario right here in the box. There she is. the old XP sounds. I uh, think I might have overprepared. I didn't use a single apple or even a single stew, I don't think. But I guess we'll go through the gateway and see if we can get some shulker boxes and elytra. Well, this direction looks good as any. I cringe every time, even if I know it's going to land. That's a lot of damage, too, from Ender Pearls. I never sweat harder than when I'm going like this over the void. My pinky never lets off this keyboard. I think I'm gonna break the keyboard. Finally! Oh my gosh. Thought I was never gonna find one. This is like the smallest thing I have ever seen. This is the only time I've ever been glad for instant health 2 potions. I'll tell you that much. Ooh, curse of binding, thankfully. I'm not just gonna throw that on my head. And finally... And then I'll take my elytra, instantly put mending, and then breaking 3 on it. And now the real work can begin. Well, I think we're gonna start building our base somewhere over there-ish, maybe. Or on top of that mountain, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. First, we need to get a tree farm going and then get a good source of bone meal to power our tree farm. 
I also need 73 sticky pistons for this machine. So hopefully I'll be able to get all these in one night, but the issue here is I don't have looting. From all the enchantments I could have gotten. Where are you at, slimes? Oh no. Baby zombies, three of them, go away! I don't even have my chest plate on. Oh, I needed the slime. More than I needed my health. Holy cow. I don't know why everything around here has enchanted tools and stuff. Anyways, I'm gonna kill some more slimes. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna clear this little area out here. And build a tree farm. I'm gonna need a ton of wood. This tree is like five times as big as my other tree house I built in my first hardcore series. So... I'm going to definitely need a lot of wood and a lot of bone meal. Well, we've got a built now. I'm really, I'm really, really hoping this works. I don't know what these chains are for or anything like that, but all I know is, is, is I trust the design. If everything went right, I should be able to flick this lever. Oh yeah. Now we're just gonna grow trees. Most fun thing to do in Minecraft. I don't know, I'll, I'll come back to y'all when, whenever we're ready to start the tree build, I guess. So as the sun rises on day 82, I think it's time we start our build. I mean, hopefully we'll be able to get this done in time. I've kind of terraformed a little. I've moved some of my wood over here. This is going to be an absolutely massive build. Enjoy the time lapse. So I guess during this lightning storm, uh, it somehow hit, ooh, I almost died there. It somehow hit my tree and it's going to burn down. I'm, I'm fairly certain I, I cannot get all these flames. Ow. Fire spread is so fast. Why? Did I actually save it? Somewhat? Maybe it. Maybe I actually did. Oh, hello, creeper. That that was that was pretty tense, though. I don't I don't want to do that again. We're, we're gonna we're gonna stick that there, in, in hopes that that never needs to be used. I might need to stick a couple more, like near the corners as well. 
But for now, at least our tree is not burning down. All right, time to start placing leaves. The tree build's going pretty good still. I've got about, I'd say, a fifth of the leaves placed. I need to go around and put some more lanterns on top of these. But for now, that was pretty boring, so I'm going to go gather some of the stuff to make the buildings that go around the edges here and the lanterns that hang down. So to start off, we're going to need some spruce stairs. We'll need some moss blocks, which we can easily get from our farm. I never thought in my life I would actively be going to look for andesite and diorite, but here, here I am. We need dried mud and compact mud. I'm not really sure how you make this. Packed mud. Packed mud is wheat and mud? I need to make a wheat farm for this? Well, since I need the wheat anyways, I'm thinking about putting a circle around the tree and then a little bit wider circle and then just filling the whole ring with wheat. I, th I think that'll look pretty nice. And also give me the wheat I really, really, really need for packed mud because that is expensive on the wheat. Holy cow. Oh, that was a lot of terraforming. If you can't tell, I had to clear out like most of the mountain. I had to bring this down, cover up the ravine. This tree's gonna gonna probably get deleted and this will get brought out a little bit. But for now, I guess it'll be okay. And now finally, I think it's time we can start our wheat ring around here. Not only will it look cool, but it will give us a bunch of wheat, which we do need for the packed mud for the little houses. I'm having to add all this water. I'm just going to put a ring of cobblestone around the end outside, I guess. It'll still look good. I've just been having all these issues with my farm plots, not like, I guess, keeping. And even if I mine underneath and put water source blocks, for some reason they're not holding up. So I guess I'm just going to resort to putting a ring of water, which if I'd have known this, I wouldn't have had to have any lanterns in the middle. But I guess nonetheless, it's working out. Well, I finally got it done. It looks very nice, and it looks so nice, in fact, that I don't think my OCD is going to let me not do it on this side. So here goes another 45 minutes to an hour of my life to make a cobblestone ring. I think this looks a lot better now. So now I'm going to start planting wheat seeds. Um, at first, I'm going to plant them in rows. If you didn't know, if you leave a gap in between the wheat seeds, they'll actually grow a lot faster. I don't know how exactly how much, but I think 25%, 10% because that kind of shows, I guess they made it like real life. If you plant crops in different rows in real life, they'll grow faster if you don't like have them all mangled together. I did not use as many hoes as I think I would. I overmade six, but it's okay, we'll use them later. But this thing is coming together slowly, very slowly. I'm also gonna leave this little rune portal here. I, I quite like it. Main thing is doing the leaves and the little huts that are supposed to go around it. But those are going to take so, so many different little teeny component blocks. They're going to take wheat. They're going to take the clay. They're going to take calcite. They're going to take, I mean, just a million different things. I need so many watermelons. But I think I'm just going to have to make like a big three or four road farm just for melons. It's, it's that, it's, I need that many. So I guess we'll just dig out trenches for water. And we'll place some slabs over the water sources. And now we're gonna plant just as many melon seeds as we can. I ended up remembering why we put the slabs halfway up and that's to make sure the melon doesn't grow. Because if this melon grows here, the stem and this stem will all be attached to that one melon. So it will be kind of useless. Now that we have all of them planted, we'll take some of our bone blocks. We'll make bone meal and we're just gonna walk through and bone meal them. Now I just need to keep harvesting wheat and I need to keep... Go away, baby zombies. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. How rare is this? A full leather spider jockey. Oh no, I might die. And a gold spider jockey. Okay. That has to be somewhat rare, right? I mean, sadly, I can't keep them. Oh gosh, no. My shield. 
Uh, that has to be rare, right? God, nope, 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 nope. My goal in life is to bone meal wheat, mine wheat, place wheat. I live a very interesting life. So 50 days later, approximately, I got a little day counter in the corner, just so that way you guys can see how long these projects really take. I have all my materials to start on the houses around here. First, I'm gonna start with the main one, the uh, one facing, I guess, the coolest way. We're gonna put a little walkway going up and then we're gonna build the first little house right there. I definitely think this tree turned out amazing, but this thing was a ton of work. It took me almost 200 Minecraft days, 158, so definitely no way I would have got that done in 100. If you want to, leave a like, you know, I'd appreciate it. And drop a comment and let me know what I should build next. And like I said, this, this tree is going to be linked down in the description below to the website. It's called The God Tree. And you can kind of tell why. I've altered it some, but it's still the same premise. Hopefully I can get my inventory organized, and I hope you guys enjoy the build. This thing looks awesome.